2024 Honda Accord versus 2024 Hyundai Sonata. Fight! Hyundai has given the Sonata a refresh for 2024. Gone are the funky daytime running lights. The rear bumper cover and taillights are also redesigned, but the most meaningful update happens within. All-wheel drive is now optional, but only on cars with a base 2.5 liter four-cylinder. Following a complete redesign last year, the Accord rolls into 2024 with no significant changes or revisions. Even during this age of the SUV, there's still demand for an honest and frugal mid-size family sedan, and the 2024 Honda Accord is the best of the bunch. Currently, the Hyundai is not available in hybrid form, or at least a 2024 redesigned version. The SEL trim comes with the 2.5 liter inline 4 that produces 191 horsepower and 181 pound feet of torque, with an MPG rating of 25 city and 29 highway, and an 8 speed automatic transmission. The N line trim comes with a 2.5 liter inline 4 turbocharged engine producing 290 horsepower with a torque output of 311 pound-feet of torque. MPG rating for the inline is 23 city and 27 highway. And the transmission is an 8-speed dual-clutch transmission. The SEL has an option of being front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, while the inline is only available in front-wheel drive. MSRP is 27,500 to 34,000 950. The Accord either comes in a 1.5 liter inline 4 or a 2.0 liter Atkinson cycle inline 4 hybrid. The inline 4 comes with 192 horsepower while the hybrid comes with 204. Torque output for the inline 4 1.5 liter is 192 while the hybrid comes with 247 pound feet of torque. MPG rating for the non-hybrid is 29 city 32 highway, while the hybrid comes with 51 city and 48 highway. The only available driveline is front wheel drive, but the hybrid comes with eCVT automatic transmission, while the non-hybrid comes with the CVT transmission. MSRP is $27,895 to $38,890 for the top hybrid trim. Pros for the Sonata is that it comes with standard wireless smartphone charging and standard 2 12.3 inch infotainment display. While well, standard in the N line, but the SEL trim doesn't come with these two options unless you pay for the extra convenient package. It is also loaded with standard comfort and safety features on both trims. Roomy interior with ample storage, and there is the N line sporty performance. Cons, however, is that it looks new but isn't actually. The car has less refined handling than the Accord and not as comfortable as other competitors. Pros for the Accord include standard push button start, standard 10.2 inch digital gauge display, plenty of standard tech and safety features, and has great ride and handling. Cons, however, is that it has no standard heated seats unlike the Sonata non-available all-wheel drive, and the car doesn't come with any sporty version. In summary, the Sonata's mid-cycle refresh comes in the form of updated front and rear bumpers, new headlights, and taillights, as well as big changes for the inside. It focuses more on standard features unless that is you go for the N-line trim. The Accord was redesigned last year and it is arguably the most attractive it's been in generations. Inside, the Accord offers two roomy rows of seats and all the infotainment tech, but what makes it great is its refined road manners.